Okay, I'm going to get ready to start marbling. First thing I'm going to do is tape off my finger, one piece along the bottom. I'm going to do a longer piece, then I'm going to wrap around my nail. Getting fairly close to the edge of my finger. Okay, my finger's pretty well covered. Now I can start wrapping polish. I'm using Essie Forever Yummy for my red and Sinful Colors Rise and Shine for my green. For this pattern, I like to use um, six drops of the red and five of the green. I want the red to be in the center. like one more red. Okay, now for my poinsettia pattern, I'm going to start off by anchoring my polish in anywhere from four to six spots along the side of the glass. I'm going to clean off my orange wood stick. I'm going to start from inside the outer ring. When you pull your polish, do it lightly across just the surface of the polish. Don't, don't dive your stick right into the polish, into the water. Just need a real light touch. Doesn't matter that the middle isn't turning out to be a perfect flower because that's not the part I'm going to be using. To make my poinsettia flowers, I'm going to now pull outward to make the little point. And I can do that all the way around or just until I see a spot that I like and I happen to like right there. But we'll do this side too just to see if anything turns out better. And I think I'm going to stick with this section right here. I want my points to go out. So I'm going to place my finger in like this. I'm going to try to stand up and make sure you can see. Let me pick, I'll actually pick up the camera. So you can see how I dip my finger. This is where my pattern is I'm going to use. I'm going to place my finger right above that pattern. And I'm going to see where I want it to go. I'm going to go in with my fingertip first and then just dip my finger in. And while my finger is still in the water, I need to clean up that nail polish around the glass. Let's see. Because if you don't clean that up, when you flip your finger over and pull your finger out, it's going to all attach to your nail and ruin your pattern. Okay. Now I'm going to pull my finger out real slow at a 45 degree angle so that if I have any water bubbles, they should pop as I pull my finger out. I don't see any. And we're out. All I have to do now is cut my tape. Peel that off. All in, should come off all in one piece. And you can see I don't have a whole lot of cleanup that I'll have to do on that. 
so I'll do the cleanup and I'm going to top coat and I'll be all set and that's how I do my poinsettia water marble.